I was on a, sitting on a train and I was reading a book. Uh, I was reading Novel on Yellow Paper by Stevie Smith. And I'd only got a few pages into it, but it was that feeling of like, oh no, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> but, um, and then I spent several months trying to forget that moment. <laughs> because I thought I didn't know how to do it and I thought it was going to be really difficult. Um, so, yeah, I really tried to bury that for quite a while. I always have to find a way in and the way in is never, it's not always the same, let's say. Sometimes it can be the same. So I have to find a way to connect with the project and because the project has lots of different sides to it and lots of different moods, there's lots of ways of doing that, but that's the discipline, because if I'm connected to it, then I can do it. So the book is about, well, it's about love and lust and obsession and passion. And it's also about memory and authenticity. It's really a lot about authenticity. It's about literature as well. And there's a narrator, the first person narrator is a woman called Rachel, and she's writing this novel 10 years after the events. Then she started an affair with somebody at her workplace, which turned out to be a disaster. So that's the kind of plot. Do you know, I actually wrote it for my own satisfaction, probably. I really had to fully accept the idea that it may never get published and I totally embraced that so I did it for its own sake and I wanted it to sound um, how it needed to sound which isn't very well explained but I really did get to the point where I thought this is its own project and I, and I just want to do that project. What happens to it afterwards is practically nothing to do with me. I did show it to a couple of people now and again um, and they were very enthusiastic and encouraging which helped. <laughs> For this book um, I, the, a really a big influence was a novel by Lydia Davis called The End of the Story which I have read five times <laughs> and um, there was just something about the, the way she structured it and also uh, the way that it was told. And it was also about the end of a love affair. So I, that was a big influence for me. It was kind of a, a, a model, if you like. And also Jory Graham's poetry. And there were lots of other volumes of poems. A couple of different songs or like CDs that I used to like to listen to. If I had to get into a sad mood, uh, <laughs> then I'd listen to the Be Good Tanya's. That was, um, but I couldn't do that again now. I'm kind of, you know, those influences were for this book. And I'm already starting to collect a whole new set for the next book.